quick reading on a missing uh, youth. Um, she's indigenous. Her name is Shelby Peterson um, Tinez, T-I-N-A-Z, out of, she was, well, she was last seen in Skokomish, Washington of 2019. I think it was in October. And just doing a well-being check on her um, with the cards. She just looks so young in the photos that as a mother, it's just, it pulled at me. I thought, I'm just, I'm going to look and see what's going on. It, the information that I don't, I don't dig real, real deep. I look again after I do a, a reading because I want to see if I'm tracking. But um, the information did say that she could be in the presence of an older male. Surprise. Mm. Um, and they might have gone to Illinois, I believe. So just looking at her general well-being, what comes up for her is the Four of Cups. There's, with this card, a sense of apathy, numbness, um, not of, of, of kind of disassociation, not feeling connected. So it's, it's, it's kind of a, in general, a, a kind of a, a certain dissatisfaction. Okay. She wants to be independent. She wants to to uh, have her own independence, um, earn her own way, have access to her own life. Um, you know, do what she wants to do. I'm, I'm getting this really strong that she wants to have sovereign uh, control over her own life and um, I feel like things that she wants to do, things that she wants to accomplish and the work that she wants to put in to be her own person, to be independent. Um, she has dreams, but right now Maybe she's finally realizing that where she is at presently does not enable her to be more, so much more of who she is than her present state of company and, and address. This is maybe her realizing, uh, you know, the limitation of where she's at towards something that she desires very much in her life, which is you know, call the own shots, you know, be her own woman. Okay. Alright. You know what? I'm going to say hi to Bear. Um, I'm going to do it like this. So she's, she's sitting there realizing that wherever she's at is not the route to her basic needs and wants of, of, in life. Um, a king of pentacles, perhaps this is the older male that she, uh, has been in the company of. Uh, I get worried sometimes when I see this because I'm thinking, is this somebody that's making money off of her? And, I, and um, I just, yeah, come work for me, you know, and once they get you, it's just like they take somebody's vulnerability of their dreams and a hardship in their environment and use it against them. And it's just so messed up. It upsets me so much. You know, these guys have a special place in hell in my book that prey upon these young ladies and, and young men and, and young people, uh, no matter how they identify. 
upon the vulnerable. Don't want to put that in, like be rude with you there, but um, yeah. Okay, crowned by the Ace of Wands. I feel like she has. This is what crowns her. I feel like that's that she has a great deal of um, creative energy and imagination and the desire to express it. That's what I'm picking up. This dude is cramping her style. As she's getting older, she's like realizing, hey, this is, you know, this is, he's not helping me. He's not helping me. I'm not happy with this. You know, this is about, supposed to be about learning a skill. Um, she wants to learn something. Wants to work and earn money. But I think this guy's helping himself to it. And she's not pleased with where she's at, with whoever this is. Okay? In her near future is the hanged man. Um, I think she feels kind of stuck. But, but the good news is out of this is that, um, with the hanged man, is that maybe it's indicative of that preparatory time that occurs in between spaces of material manifestation of well-being. It's kind of like the whole idea of the cocoon, that this is a time that you, that you will emerge from. It is not, in this case, I think, evident of um, <clears throat> like being permanently stuck, but it serves a purpose. Uh, the purpose of a greater understanding and a change in point of view and a different outlook. It's life-changing. It's very transformative. Her point of view, this is a distinct purpose that she needs to express. And I think when she realizes that this situation with this person is actually hindering her, and gets that into focus, then I think she's going to think more broadly about her future. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> more about what her own needs are. Working with other people, she's looking at wanting to work with other people, I think, in creative efforts. This, whatever the case is, is... Uh, a group involvement, more than one person involved in working on something or being a part of a project or a, um, an effort. So again, I get really a sense that this young woman really wants to get out on her own and be beholden to no man. And that is the way it should be. But so don't go getting yourself out there beholden to some man. That is not the answer. And her environment is the sun, is exposure. Um, there's clarity. Transparency. I don't see it as a bad thing. I see it as like a spotlight. Um, a light and it has a, a really positive effect it might just give her that extra nudge to say you know what I'm out of here if she hasn't made up her mind about leaving this person that's probably making money off of her um Or who's holding her financially hostage. Hopes and fears, Knight of Pentacles. I feel like she wants to study. She just wants to study. She wants to uh, learn about certain things and have an education. Um, and pursue certain, I believe, arts. 
a unique expression. Um, I don't know whether it's music or an involvement of various different kinds of tools that uh, creative expression, but she's so creative um, and, and, and wants her independence. This concerns me because it's kind of still a holding pattern. You know, this person m m might feel like they're holding, they're holding on to her, controlling her. Um, like she's, this is no, the realization that you're not entirely feeling free to go. There's a heavy, heavy dose of uh, possessiveness here. I'm going to seek clarification on that. I'm not, you know, the King of Pentacles is a possessive son of a bitch anyway, okay? I think he views her as property. That's, you know, how he goes about his relationships with women. okay bear okay so there becomes a choice and I think she's going to be maybe making a choice for long term with regard to her own well-being she might hear that finally that inner voice of that's been calling her and it just could be that she kind of remains stalled for a little bit but i think that she will get motivated to leave eventually She may seek money so that the money that she needs to get away. She, you know, dealing with that. Then there's, yeah, there's a decision. Um, this is somebody that's been through an ordeal. They have had sustained some trauma. Um, and they're just like, fuck it. You know, it, it's now or never, you know, I... I think there's a choice that's that's made for their freedom. Queen of Cups. Ooh, this video is getting too long. I'm gonna end it with this. Um, I feel like there is a female that gets clarity here. There's a female with law. Could be a detective, I don't know. Maybe this is someone who may enable her to um, get out of this situation that she's in. She might help her uh, to deal with any of uh, any of that. And I'll leave it at that.